My name is Arthur, and I have been a student of Phyllis's for about 10 months now. I've been studying real estate investing in Southern California, and my business model involves me going out and knocking on people's doors, talking to homeowners who are facing foreclosure. So I have to go out and be very, very persistent in talking to the homeowners to pull them out of their shell and see if we can find a solution for them. So I went to knock on this one house, and this I knocked on the door, and I told the woman who I was and why I was there, and she became very upset. She told me to get off her property. But me, trying to be persistent, and I kept asking her questions and asking her questions, just saying, you know, have you done anything to stop foreclosure? Have you talked to a lawyer? All these things. She says, if you don't leave, I'm going to let out Shorty. So I, I'm just like, I'm sorry, I don't know who Shorty is. You know, can we keep talking? Can I please talk to you? I'm only going to be here for five minutes. All of a sudden, I hear this growling coming down the side of the house, and I look over, and there's a chain link fence, right, a gate right here, and all of a sudden, this 80-pound guard dog comes slamming into the chain link fence, and I realize Shorty is not short, he's not small, he definitely means business, but he's behind this chain link fence, so I think that if I can just talk to this lady just a little bit longer, she'll call Shorty off, and we can talk about saving her house. Well, I keep trying to ask questions, and Shorty starts to jump. Get, he's jumping up. He's getting a little bit higher. The chaining fence is about this high. And I look over at the side of my eyes, and I'm asking her one last question, and I see Shorty's mouth come over the top of the chaining fence. I realize the next jump, Shorty's going to be over that fence, and I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So I immediately try to wrap up my presentation saying, thank you very much for your time. Here's my card. Please feel, call me if you have any questions. And then I ran back to my car like I was a track star. Shorty didn't make it over, and I haven't been back to that house since.